Hey guys, welcome back to Glam 101. Today we're going to be talking about oily skin. Last section we talked about dry skin. This time it's going to be about oily skin. And I know I'm kind of late getting this video up. Don't hurt me, okay? So um, we're going to go ahead and just jump right on into it. Because as you guys know, it's going to be tons and tons of information. I have a few more products I want to show you guys that can help with oily skin. And I just want to cover everything. So we're going to get right into it. Um, first off, I want to talk about how do you know if you have oily skin. You know you have oily skin if... Your face gets greasy, okay, with nothing going on. Um, the best way to check your skin type, no matter what your skin type, is to wash your face thoroughly, pat it dry, and just let it air dry. And see, mm, excuse me, and see after 10 minutes what your face looks like. Is it oily? Um, does it look like you don't even need to put any lotion on? Are you really dry? You have dry patches. Um, is it kind of like dry somewhere, oily somewhere, or... You know, things like that you want to look for to see. And if you have oily skin, of course, your face is going to be shiny. You're not going to need to put in any moisturizers or anything like that. So that's definitely how you can tell if you have oily skin, all right? Now, if you do have oily skin, I'm pretty sure you have one of the following. You have enlarged pores. Um, your face is kind of like dull, but it's like shiny. Like, when I say dull, I mean like you can have dull oily skin or you can have shiny oily skin. Um, you can have a really thick complexion, meaning that your skin looks really, for example, when you put on foundation, your face looks really, really cakey because it is so oily and you're packing foundation on over that oil. So it can look pretty thick and pretty oily. Um, if you do have oily skin, you definitely have some, probably have some blackheads. Like I do, I have blackheads like in my nose and chin, which are areas that I tend to be oily. Um, you can have pimples or blemishes or anything like that. Um, Oiliness is one of those things that can change depending on, you know, the time of the year, your age, the weather, um, and things like that. You know, everyday factors benefit into your skin and change your skin. You know, if you're a teenager, you're probably going to have acne prone skin, but as you get older, your skin's just dry. You know what I'm saying? It changes as time goes on. For me, I'm oilier in the summer than I am in the winter, and that's just how it is. I wish it was like the other way around, but it's not. So definitely think about those factors when thinking about your skin um one of the things that can make oily skin some of the things rather that can make oily skin worse or things that can cause you to have oily skin are things like puberty hormonal changes again you know you're a teenager your oil your skin's probably one way but as you get older it changes when you hit puberty um if you're um a woman of a little bit more age as you hit that time of the that time when you're going through the change in life menopause and things like that you're definitely going to experience a change in your skin um stress stress is the number one thing that can cause your skin to get oily or have acne prone skin or things like that stress is just not a good thing stress is bad for your health anyway so why y'all stressing stop stressing it's stressing your face out and you don't want to stress your face out right <laughs> so yeah um exposure to too much heat or too much humidity can be an also a benefactor um i've lived in las vegas chicago and now in atlanta and um i can tell the difference between the air in um las vegas recently i went to vegas and my skin was so dry out there it was ridiculous but as soon as i got back my skin was super oily because it was like let's get some oil pumping in that skin from being in that dry weather so definitely your climate can definitely affect your skin and everything like that um so those are some things just to kind of remember kind of look out for little tips and tricks you know so um things you can do to take care of oily skin you definitely want to wash your skin um, no more than twice a day because um, you want to do that. You want to wash it no more than twice a day because you really don't want to overwash your skin because your skin is supposed to produce natural oils. You are supposed to produce natural oils within your body. So it's going to do that. So you want to do it no more than twice a day. Um, another thing you want to do is you definitely want to wash your face after you have started uh, sweating. If you sweat, if you work out, anything like that. If you have oily skin, you definitely want to wash your face after working out after doing anything that's making you sweat you definitely want to wash your face because you don't want that sweat to leak in with those oils and it's going to cause more blackheads for you and you don't want to do that in larger pores and all those bad yucky things we don't want going on in our faces right um you want to definitely use a gentle soap you don't want to scrub your skin because the thing about oily skin is oily skin is pretty much pretty close to acne prone and sensitive skin it's closer to that than dry skin surprisingly and the reason why you want to be very careful with that is because you don't want to scrub your skin and make it to the point where you irritate it and you know you do anything funky so i did find and i actually use this product it's from clean and clear and it's the finishes mattifying cleanser and it is oil free and basically this is going to strip your face of the oils it's going to make your face matte and i definitely use this 
in the summer before I apply foundation because not only does it leave like a cool feeling to my face where it's dry, I don't have any oils going on, I feel fine, and I can just go ahead and um, put my foundation on with no problems. It controls the oil for a long time. It's super absorb. It's an absorbing cleanser, and it has a mineral plus complex. Control shine all day while removing impurities. For a naturally beautiful finish so basically it's going to definitely you know suck that oil out of your skin it's going to absorb it all up it's going to make it so that way your face is oil free all day so i definitely recommend this product if you have not already tried it before another facial cleanser that i think is going to help that's um pretty good it's a purifying cleanser and it's also by clean and clear and it's the morning burst fruit infusions and it's oil free with will and oranges and cleanses to purify the pores. And things that's going to clean your pores is really good if you have oily skin because as you know the oil is like sinking into your pores. So definitely using a cleanser that's going to clean the pores is definitely a good idea. Um, you don't want to pick, pop, or squeeze any pimples. Don't want to do that. I, I can't. I don't know how many times I've seen young girls popping pimples. Don't pop the pimples. Let them be there. No one really cares. And if they really do care, forget them. Don't pop your pimples. Don't pick at your skin. Don't do any of that because all you're going to do is create scars. More and more scars on your face and you don't want to do that. Um, and it also makes the healing time a lot longer. Um, you want to use products that's labeled non... I wrote it down. Non-comediogenic. Okay? So anything that's basically going to clog the pores. You don't want anything that's going to clog your pores. Um, for my makeup wears, foundation. Um, I found this foundation recently that I think is going to be really awesome for you guys because this is for combination to oily skin and it's the Revlon um, 24 hour color stay. Personally, I'm not a fan of this foundation due to my own personal reasons, but as far as controlling oil and keeping your face matte, this definitely is a good foundation, I think, for that particular skin. And Revlon caters to skin types. They have some for dry skin, they have one of these for sensitive skin, and then they have this for combination and oily. So I definitely recommend probably getting one of these foundations. It's actually a pretty good foundation. Another foundation that I think is actually really good is the BH Cosmetics Foundation. It is an oil-free foundation. It definitely leaves like a matte finish. I know I look kind of like I'm glowing a little bit, but that's because I'm right in front of the sun, so it's definitely picking up on my highlight. But this is definitely a matte foundation. It's super, super matte, super, super good. Love it to death. Um, it's not really a summer foundation because it is kind of thick, but I do recommend this foundation if you do have an oilier skin. Also, you want to use mattifying moisturizers. Um, there's a moisturizer by Clean and Clear, and I cannot find mine at all for some reason. And I was trying to find it for this particular video. I'm trying to see if it's... Oh, I found it. It's a foundation and it's also by Clean and Clear and it's called a mattifying moisturizer. It's this right here. It's a mattifying finish moisturizer. And you guys have seen me use this and it's definitely an oil control um, lotion. It helps uh, to control the shine all day. Super absorbing. It has SPF 15. Of course, you always want to have some type of sunscreen in your face. So this is also a good product if you have oily skin and you're looking for a moisturizer that's going to control your lotion, control your oils. That's um, a good quality. I know a lot of people recommend the oil control lotion from MAC, and that is a really good product. It definitely locks in those oils. But if you're looking for a cheaper alternative that's going to give you the same benefits, I definitely recommend this. So if you are using the oil control and you're looking for something that's a little bit more affordable, this is really good. It's like four bucks compared to like however much it is for MAC. So really, really good. And these two together, seriously, if you wash your face with this and then you moisturize with this, your face is going to stay matte for a pretty long time. So definitely, definitely, definitely want to use that. Um, some other things you can use are like blotting sheets during the day. I use blotting sheets. They're actually in my purse and I should have brought that. But they're also by Clean and Clear. They're just some um, blotting sheets. You know, you blot on your face and it sucks the oil off. So <laughs> those are pretty good. You can also use things like blot powders. That's also in my um, purse. But blotting powders, I know some people use their MSFs to blot the oil, but I don't think that's a good idea because it will clog your pores. So you don't want to use face powders to control your oil. You want to use like a block, a powder that's meant to do that, okay? So yeah, also I do want to recommend for your face if you are having trouble with like sores or pores or anything like that, a tip that I always use, and this is something that I would just use in my whole life. My mom always told me to use it and it's aloe vera. Aloe vera is a good healing 
aid and it definitely helps heal the face if you have like large pores that you're trying to close or sores on your face or marks on your face aloe vera definitely is a good tip to use for your face it's good for your hair it's good for your body like aloe vera is the business so i always keep a little bottle of this you can get this at like a travel size this is a travel size i got it from target for a dollar you know you can find this anywhere you can get the big bottles um aloe vera is definitely a good healing aid if you're struggling with um having a lot of pimples and acne and things like that and for your scarring so yeah so um i went through that video kind of fast i really hope it was beneficial i hope you guys did learn something from that about oily skin i hope it was helpful you know like always and um thank you so much for watching any information that i did find that i didn't put in this video or anything i missed would definitely be down below thank you guys so much for taking part in glam 101 i'm super excited next week we will be talking about sensitive skin which is something that you guys are really waiting to see so after sensitive skin we're going to do combination skin and then after combination skin will be your first giveaway quiz and i've already designed the quiz it's really simple really easy i think it's like 15 questions super simple and it's going to be a chance for you to win some skincare products so thank you so much stay tuned and i'll watch you and watch you i'm not gonna watch y'all what i'll see y'all in the next video bye